Welcome to the RPS Standard Express Mavon tutorial. During this tutorial, we will review how to visit the RPS website, access the Standard Express portal, submit a personal and commercial application, and how to service a policy. And with that, let's get started. To visit the app, uh, RPS website, you will go to www.rpsins.com, select the My RPS Login hyperlink. From here, you will type in your credentials. These are pre-established credentials. And you'll be brought into your My RPS landing page. Here you will see separate links for home, my account, get a quote, view my policies or rating platforms. Now to access the RPS Standard Express platform, you will select rating platforms and from the drop down, RPS standard lines. This will bring you directly to the RPS Standard Express landing page. To the left of your screen, you will see your agency activity, agency contact information, and below that, you will see your new business, commercial, and personal underwriters. You will also see your personal lines and commercial lines service line underwriters listed below. To the middle of the screen, you will see carrier access, appetite guides, and news. This will uh, provide you with the opportunity to review available carriers and what current guidelines they may have in place. So you can select the icon for that carrier and download any available information. Please note that carriers are subject to availability based on geographical location and underwriting. Now, before moving forward, one thing you always want to make note uh, to have updated is to make sure that you have pop-up blocker disabled for the system. You can make sure to review instructions by selecting tools and help. And then technology. And you can review how to disable pop up blocker from your screen. Above carrier access, appetite guides and news, you will see that there are options to start a quote with personal or commercial. For this example, we will select personal. And from the drop down, you will see that there are multiple lines available. You have home prefill, home, full quote auto, quick quote home, quick quote auto. Mobile home, motorcycle, and other available lines will require an Accord application to be emailed to your underwriter. Now, when getting started with an application, you will see that this is what you will work on in lieu of an Accord form. You will start with the rating state and the effective date, and you can select additional lines for your risk. From here, you can select the form you'd like to move forward with. And please note that anything with a red asterisk is required to be completed. You will not be able to move forward with the application without completing anything with a red asterisk next to that question. Once you are able to move forward, you will see a continue button pop up. If the red asterisk is still showing up, that does indicate that you will need to review any additional questions that need to be completed. If you are working on an application and you need to save your work product, you can select the save and finish later option. This will bring you back to your agency dashboard. Where you will see submitted applications and other tabs such as unsubmitted apps. To revisit applications that you were working on, you will select on unsubmitted applications. And then you will select the app ID that is hyperlinked in the first column. For this example, we will select an application we were working on. This is for Thomas Hill. And you will be able to edit your application and review all the information that has been completed while you were working on the application. 
Once you have reviewed all pertinent information, you can submit your application for quoting. And you will see a window pop up that says. Please wait while we determine preliminary results. You will also have the opportunity to re uh, review additional endorsements that are available by carrier. Once you're ready, we'll select continue submission. And once again, the system will automatically redirect you to your agency dashboard. You can review available quotes by selecting the insured's name. The screen will expand to show you which carriers are currently reviewing the risk. And each icon will return either a indication. You may also see manual comeback or a declination. For any icons that show a manual uh, quote or manual under the icon, this could mean a couple of different things. Either the carrier is not yet integrated into the system or the carrier may just need additional information. To obtain a manual quote from that carrier, you're going to select the carrier icon. And then you will select the green button that says request manual quote. The screen will expand to show a text box where you can type in additional information next to the pre-filled language here, and then you can click submit. You will receive a confirmation email that we have received your request and your underwriter will also receive an update on their end to make sure to get you a manual quote. To submit a bind request, you will select the carrier icon that you wish to move forward with. And this is a bind request for a carrier that came back with an indication. You will review the assumptions and coverage changes that show up highlighted in red. So this is a quote based off of the information that was inputted into the system. And then you will submit bind request. From here, you will get a notification that coverage is in force and verified once you have received a binder from an authorized Mavon representative. Uh, under this screen, you will be able to input your insurance information, the payment information and payment plan you wish to move forward with, and your form of payment. Once again, anything with a red asterisk must be completed before moving forward. You can include, include any pertinent attachments, and you must check off on all of the acknowledgements to your left. Once you have completed the screen, you will see an option to continue. And you will receive a notification advising you that the policy is bound. Once you have received a binder from an authorized Mavon representative. Now going back to the home page, we will get started on a commercial application. From the commercial lines tab, you will have the option to select the coverages below. We have Bob slash package, general liability, auto, workers compensation. Just to name a few. You can select the coverage you wish to move forward with. And from here, you will work on inputting the rating zip code for your risk. That will prefill the city state and county. From here, you will move on to describe your business. You can describe it by phrase, by specific word, SIC or NAICS. For this example, we're going to type in coffee shop. You will continue to select your business classification. Once you select your business description from that classification, you will move on to the carrier classification. And this will show you your commercial lines carrier availability. The carriers listed on this page 
are carriers that will entertain the risk. So you will see each carrier icon as well as the class codes that they would review the risk under. Some carriers may have tiebreakers, um, which just contain more specific class codes for the risk. And if you find that there is a carrier that you have a direct contract with, you can uncheck that specific carrier so that the application will not be sent to their systems. If you find that the classification you are reviewing isn't exactly what um, you have described or are looking to describe, you can reclassify the business. If you're ready to move forward, you can start a quote or drag and drop a pre-completed Accord PDF to your screen. Now, when starting a quote from here for a commercial lines risk, you will see that it is similar to the personal lines application where you will get started with the different coverage types. You can add additional lines if requested. You will then continue with the rating state and describing the business. Once again, anything with a red asterisk is required to be completed before moving forward. And as you complete the information in the system, the tabs to your top left will expand to further accommodate for any additional questions depending on the risk. Once you have completed your application, you will once again receive a button to submit your application for quoting and you'll be redirected to your agency homepage to move forward with submitting a bind request or requesting a manual quote. Now for general management and servicing a policy, you can review your agency dashboard by selecting the dashboard icon, or you can go to my agency and selecting dashboard from the dropdown. From here, you will see submitted applications, unsubmitted apps, reports, policies, and service requests. You can review your policies under the Policies tab. For any specific insureds, you can select the green magnifying glass and search by policy number, insured name, effective start or end date. You can also review it by carrier or line of business. To service a policy, you will select the insured you wish to move forward with by selecting the policy number, which is hyperlinked in the first column, or once again, searching by the insured's name or policy number, and then selecting search. You will be brought to the policy summary for that insured, where you will be able to review any policies that have been, or documents that have been uploaded into the system. And you can submit a new service request by selecting the new service request button on the bottom right corner. From here, you can review whether it is for a quote only. You can then select the different service request types. For this example, we will be requesting policy documents that have not yet been uploaded into the portal. You can then select add and review it by the document type. And then you can type in a brief description of what you are seeking. From here, you will click continue. And then you can drag and drop any additional information if you have a PDF form um, for any required reason. Um, you can also add the attachment and upload it. And then hit continue. You will then be brought to the service request summary screen where you can review all the information inputted and then submit service request. Once that's completed, you will receive a uh, additional window that will confirm you we have received your request. And you can review any current service request by selecting the policy number 
for that request. And checking out the service request history noted below. Now this feature is a, an important feature um, which allows you or anyone in your agency to check on the current status of a policy request or any endorsements that have been sent in. So you can see step by step what has been completed, what may be pending. And you can also download documents from this section. Now keep in mind any uh, requests for documents, endorsements and the like will also be emailed via uh, PDF, a PDF copy will be emailed to you uh, once the request has been completed. Now going back to the home screen, you will also see some additional items. The can we write it icon will bring you to a map of the US where you can review which carriers are available by state along with which lines of business are available. And under the tools and help feature, you will be able to review additional training, technology information, and forms. And that concludes the tutorial for the RPS Standard Express Mavon platform. Thank you very much for your time, and we look forward to working with you and growing with you.